Welcome back to United Gamers Authority. I'm Shade Hunter. I'm Captain Dudermont. And today, since Phantom Stag can't be with us, we have um, a new person joining us. I have finally convinced somebody else in my family to actually play video games. <laughs> it's my sister. Uh, what is your screen name again? I can't remember. Mother Huntress? Mother Huntress. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So... She's going to be joining us on here. We've been doing a lot of testing and maneuvering and stuff. And I might be bleeping out my cussing on my microphone because it's not wanting to sit in the right spot. So, we are doing another Conan series for the people that in the comments of the last series for the no server needed that had problems, okay? Somebody mentioned, you know, the launcher and this and that. Launcher has absolutely nothing to do with it. They added the launcher to make their games easier to launch. That's it. it has nothing to do with doing it multiplayer at all. You still need a... Uncom ID, so when you go into your friends list and you're looking at all your, most of you will probably have this blank, down at the bottom is a Funcom ID. You'll, whoever is hosting needs that number so you can add it to your friends list so that you can invite them in the game. And we'll do that here in a moment when we get in the game. We are going to be starting a new one, and we're going up to Steel. It's the fast track to Steel, but we're doing it a little bit different this time. We're actually going to be choosing a different spawn location rather than the one we're used to on this, because we're actually going to be doing it on Isle of Sipta. So I'm going to go ahead and do New Game, activate the co-op. Got it. Make sure you activate the co-op when you're doing the no-server style multiplayer. You want to do... Isla Septa. If you want an easier time, you could do the Civilized. If you want to do Normal, that's Decadent. I use General. I use the Custom Settings because of the fact we don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of time doing things. Um, in General, I believe I already have everything set on this. By default, if you just get this game and load it up to go to Isla Sipta, the purge is on. Uter and I found out that the hard way. And they yeah, ate our face. Can you turn the maelstrom off, though? Oh, you can. You actually can. But that's part of Isla Sipta. I'm not oh. sure how they manage purge being Isla Sipta. If they can actually... Put something on their forums explaining why the purge is a functional thing and legitimate in Isle of Sipta, fine. Turn it on and I'll play with it because it's part of the game. It exists on Isle of Sipta because there are some people who play this game who get pissy when the purge doesn't exist, even though there's really no reason for it to be on Isle of Sipta. So they put purge on Isle of Sipta so that the people who get pissy that it's not there can shut up. Do you have the Maelstrom set so we have a little bit of lead time before it hits so we can get out of Maelstrom area? Um, if we need to? I'm just on that run right now. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I, I like it when we have that little lead time, especially before we have horses or anything like that where we need to run away. I don't know. I think it needs to just go, boom, you're screwed. 
Yeah, we we did that once. I did not enjoy that. Accumulation time one minute. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. We're going to do ten minute ten accumulation. Ten seconds. Uh, duration. Wow. Six years. Uh, did we? I guess is the default settings. Oh, you can change the duration of it. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, you nice. can change all kinds oh, of stuff. It's going to be two hours in between. It's going to be the cooldown. So once it turns off, it won't do it again for another two hours. Um, duration. Five seconds. Six no. weeks. 30 <laughs> minutes. Accumulation time is going to be 10 minutes because I can get from the center to outside the Maelstrom area in 10 minutes. Because I won't be in this, I won't be in the center without a horse. So <laughs> there is that. Well, even I can, and I'm not super awesome. Even without a horse, you can get from the center yeah. to outside the maelstrom area in less than ten minutes. Yeah. And, and it's going to be five minutes dissipation time. So the total dur duration will be thirty minutes. It'll take ten minutes to accumulate and five minutes to dissipate. So that's forty-five minutes of maelstrom activity in between the two hour cooldown okay. so uh maelstrom building damage enabled yes oh um, there one piece all right the rest of this is fine and I'm going to... Yes, it's going to override our last one. And we're going to jump in. I will probably end up cutting that section of editing the the settings and just kind of speed it up so that you're not... Act, people aren't actually setting their one. I actually really enjoy editing. So you're going to uh, invite us in then? Once I get in there... I have to create my character first. I'm not doing the intro to it. People can watch mm -hmm. the intro to it later. Yep. I'm going to so play a male like this time. Yeah, like, I think northeast up just a little above where New Luxor is, yeah? Or right around where New Luxor is? The beach area there? We can try. I mean, the beach itself doesn't seem too bad. Pops and I wandered around it, or sorry, Phantom and I wandered around it the other day. And, uh... Everybody out in the world, stop messing around. is living the dream but everybody's singing along it's okay. all right starting location you said we're gonna go on the east northeast that is a difficult location yeah i know we'll be fine <clears throat> we've done it before and we did southeast before i have I mean, never done north it in difficult locations well, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm going to... You know what, I'm just going to leave my character's name as Shade Hunter. Alright, my crimes are high treason, fornicating with low beasts. Yeah, it means having sex with a horse. That's terrible. Or a goat. That's or a disgusting. Hey, now, we don't live in Montana. I am not from Montana. Um, oh, that's stereotyping. My bad. Just kidding. Uh, poor use of punctuation. Now, now that's just... That's just wrong. No, I would exile you for that, too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's, that's not exile. That's execution right there. All right, except... Not using the proper there, there, and there. I totally forgot to go over the mods. All right. 
whatever, we'll do that later. Yeah, we, I'll do it in a minute after I get you guys invited. So, when you're in the game, just created your character, you go into your escape list here. It's that corner button by itself up in the left-hand corner of the keyboard that says <coughs> ESC. Um, you go down here to friends list, and whatever friends you have on your list, make sure you will have their Funcom ID. If you don't have it here, then go back and look at the beginning of the video. Um, and then you... And there's an add friend button if you didn't notice it right there. Really easy to find. You click invite to game session on the people you want to invite to your game session. Close that. Resume the game. And I'm actually going to bring up that, that again so that I can show this. It's going to show the list of mods we're using. We're not using anything that drastically alters the game. We're using Pippi for the server type admin features. Uh, Hosev's custom UI. Fashionist. Stack size plus. Less building placement restrictions. And pickup plus. Those are just quality of life items. When we move to the server and start the series to beat the game, we are going to be adding two other mods to it that will help us honestly have a more difficult time. It makes it more challenging. And we'll explain those when we get to them. So, on to the game. I picked up a stick and got the drink journey step. Oh, okay. because they're in the water. I have to remember to change my hairstyle before I. <clears throat> it is. I don't like the hairstyle. Yeah, these logs right here, these planks of wood, when you pick them up, they're actually wood. And these are the sticks right here. starting way over here at 010 there's actually a ruins right there that sure I think there are people in it this is gonna be interesting to say the least oh wow that person has a sealed water skin on them. I'll take it. What religion did y'all take? I took the Emir. I always take Turketo. I want to take one I haven't done before. I think I'll do Zath. Zath is fun. Throwing the spider orbs is really fun.
Alright. So, uh, my crimes are breaking a pinky promise, strangling a money lender, and fi uh, fixing gladiatorial matches. That sounds perfectly fine to me. Mm hmm. I mean, the breaking a pinky promise is kind of messed up, though. Yeah, that sounds weird. I think everything else was just thrown in there, you know, for flavor. Why can't I? Oh, I need to uh, oh, read a clan. Oh, there it is. I need to invite you to a clan here. Mm hmm. So what style of building should we do? Well, for now, just do the flotsam. No, that's what I was asking, because we have we can either do the sandstone or the flotsam. Sandstone would look out of place. Especially since all of our supplies at the moment are... It, it's literally coming from a shipwreck. Oh, yeah, that's true. What's our start location? Northeast, right? Yeah, it doesn't really matter because you're tethered, so you pop up to him anyway, but... <clears throat> Finalize character. I'm going to leave my name just as Mother Huntress. <clears throat> yeah, we left ours as our screen names, too. My crimes. Expecting the Zingarian expecting the Zingarian Inquisition. <laughs> it's because no one expects the Zingarian Inquisition. Assassinating a merchant. Oh, I I broke a pinky promise as well. Yeah, that's why you got exiled. Everything else was just... Love. Just there for flavor. There I am. I made myself super tall again. All right, I'm coming over here to invite you to the clan. Oh, and if uh, anybody doesn't realize it, you actually look at the person that you want to invite to the clan, push and hold E, and then invite to clan. The gears. So, that's how you do that. Unless you changed your interact button to something else. string oh there's two points okay. not yet this is a good location I'm, I'm just picking up sticks I figured that was a good way to start I'm going over here to this uh, cliff side on the other side of boats. I'm going to be breaking up stones because I've already got the stone tools and uh, getting some trees chopped down. Oh, 
Right, there's a bird right there that's probably going to end up coming after me. Let's go build some stuff real quick. <clears throat> so when it comes to building uh, in this area, your safe bet is on the beach. Anything beyond the beach and you will be more likely to be attacked. Yeah. I was going to do it right up here on this on this cliff standing on which is fine i was just saying your safe bet is to do it on the beach <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna build some um, foundations, I guess. Or frames. What do you want? Um, probably just some walls. I need one more frame and a door. Right, I'll, make a, I'll make a. You want a door frame or just a regular frame? Because I got a door made. Well, I have the door frame right there. Okay. Well, I got one frame, a door. And I'm making a bunch of walls, so... Okay. I, I want to be an archer. Okay. Just let y'all know when it gets to that point. You have 50 wood, my chance? Something. Uh, no, I have five. I have nine. I mean, here, you can have the five that I had and I can go get more. Now I have 50 wood. Wrong button, but that works. Here. Drop some stone, too. Making a box, so the, or a couple of boxes. Come here, you dumb bird. The first box on the left as you walk in is going to be the uh, essentially the dump chest. It's anything you collect, you just kind of dump it in there. Okay. All right. I'm leaving the door off for the moment. It's going in the second chest because I need to put it like a little porch thing here so we walk in easier. I should probably... We might need some light. Yeah, that's what I'm going for is the porch. I already have it. I just haven't made the standing torches yet. Yeah, because it's going to be super dark. <clears throat> 